Picture this, it's the end of the month, your bills are piling up, and your wallet is looking emptier than a desert. Sound familiar? Well, you're not alone. The struggle to make the ends meet on a tight budget is a common tale. But, what if I said there's a way out? Yes, you heard that right, it's called budgeting. Now don't roll your eyes. Budgeting isn't just a fancy term thrown around by financial gurus, it's a lifeline, a roadmap that navigates you through the stormy seas of financial uncertainty. Especially for those with a low income, budgeting is the compass that directs you towards financial well-being. But, let's be honest, budgeting on a low income can feel like trying to squeeze water from a stone. But don't worry, this video is your survival guide, packed with practical solutions to conquer your budgeting woes. So buckle up, because we're taking the reins of this financial rodeo. First things first, we need to understand our money. It's time to talk income and expenses. Let's with income. That's the money coming in, the fuel for your financial engine. It could be your wages from your 9 to 5 job, or maybe you have a side hustle selling handmade soap, or perhaps you're receiving government benefits. Regardless of the source, every penny counts. It's crucial to keep track of all your income streams, because, let's face it, you can't budget if you don't know what you're working with. Now onto expenses, the money going out. Expenses fall into two main categories, fixed and variable. Fixed expenses are those bills that don't change much from month to month. Think rent or mortgage payments, utility bills, and maybe a gym membership you've been meaning to cancel. These costs are relatively predictable so they're easy to plan for. Variable expenses, on the other hand, are a little trickier. These are costs that change from month to month. Groceries, gas, entertainment, and that impulse buy of gourmet popcorn at the checkout line, these all fall under variable expenses. And while it might be harder to predict how much you'll spend on these, it's not impossible. The key to understanding your expenses is to categorize them. It's like sorting your laundry. You wouldn't throw your red socks in with your white shirts, would you? The same goes for your expenses. By categorizing them, you can see where your money is going and more importantly, where you might be able to save. So, to recap, income is the money coming in, and expenses are the money going out. Understanding both and how they interact is the first step to successful budgeting. It's like a financial yin and yang, where balance is the ultimate goal. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case, it's the power to control your money. Now if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more budgeting tips. Now that we know our money, let's see where it's going. It's time to track our spending. And no, we're not just talking about those late-night online shopping sprees. We're talking every penny, every dime, every single cent. Now you might be thinking, that's a lot of work, but trust me, it's easier than you think. And the best part? You've got options. First up, the good old-fashioned pen and paper. There's something satisfying about writing down your expenses like you're a detective solving the mystery of where your money's been disappearing to. You can create a simple expense tracker in a notebook or download a template online. Just make sure to jot down every expense no matter how small. Yes, even that dollar you spent on a candy bar. But hey, if you're more of a tech-savvy person, we've got you covered too. There are plenty of budgeting apps out there that do the tracking for you. Just input your expenses and voila! Instant overview of your spending habits. Plus, many of these apps are free, so no need to add another expense to your list. Now whether you're going old school with pen and paper or high tech with an app, the key is consistency. Make it a habit to track your expenses daily. It might seem tedious at first, but as the saying goes, what gets measured, gets managed. And that's what we're aiming for. Management. Not just tracking. Because once you've tracked your expenses for a month, you'll start to see patterns. You'll identify where you're overspending, where you can cut back, and where you can save. But remember, this isn't about shaming yourself for your spending habits. It's about understanding them so you can make better financial decisions. So, no guilt trips here, okay? So grab a pen or your phone and let's start tracking. Trust me, your wallet will thank you. Ever heard of the 50-30-20 rule? Well, it's about to become your new best friend. Imagine money management as a pie, a delicious, mouth-watering pie that represents your income. Now the 50-30-20 rule is about slicing that pie into three tasty portions. Each slice represents a different category of your budget. Firstly, we have the biggest slice, taking up half of your pie. This 50% is allocated to your needs. We're talking about the absolute essentials here. Rent or mortgage payments, utilities, groceries, and health insurance, among others. These are your non-negotiables, the things you simply can't do without. Next, we have the 30% slice. This portion is set aside for your wants. Now that doesn't mean you should splurge it all on the latest designer shoes or a shiny new gadget. 
These are expenses that aren't essential but enhance your life. Think along the lines of entertainment, dining out, your Netflix subscription, your gym membership, and so on. And last but not least, we have the remaining 20% of your pie. This slice is dedicated to savings and debt repayment. Whether it's an emergency fund, a retirement account, or paying down debt, this is the portion of your income that's all about securing your financial future. Now you might be thinking this all sounds great, but what if my financial picture doesn't fit neatly into this 50-30-20 framework? Well that's a valid point. The beauty of this rule is its flexibility. If you're living on a low income or in a high cost of living area, you may need to adjust these percentages. Maybe your needs take up more than 50% of your income. Perhaps your debt repayment requires more than 20%. That's okay. The key is to find a balance that works for you and your unique circumstances. Remember, the 50-30-20 rule isn't a rigid law. It's a guideline, a starting point to help you make sense of your money and where it's going. It's about taking control of your financial pie and ensuring each slice is serving you well. With the 50-30-20 rule, budgeting is as easy as pie. Budgeting on a low income can feel like walking a tightrope. But don't worry, we've got some tips to keep you balanced. Think of it as your financial safety net, woven with threads of savvy saving and smart spending. Our first thread is reducing fixed costs. Yes, you heard it right. Even fixed costs can be trimmed. How about negotiating your bills? You'd be surprised how a simple call to your utility providers can lead to a lower rate. And don't stop there. Explore cheaper alternatives for your phone plans and internet. Remember, every penny saved is a penny earned. Next up, let's talk about embracing frugal living. Now don't go imagining a life of deprivation. Frugal living is about making the most of what you have. Cooking at home can save you a ton and guess what? Your culinary skills might just surprise you. And who said fun has to be expensive? Libraries, parks, and other community amenities offer a wealth of free entertainment. And let's not forget the magic of discounts and coupons. They're like little treasure hunts. And the prize? More money in your pocket. Finally, if you're up for it, consider boosting your income. Side hustles aren't just for the millennials, they're for anyone willing to roll up their sleeves and get creative. Whether it's selling handmade crafts, tutoring, or pet sitting, there's a world of opportunities out there. And remember, every extra dollar earned is another step towards financial stability. Budgeting on a low income may seem daunting, but like any skill, it takes practice. And with these tips, you're not just walking a tightrope, you're dancing on it. So put on your metaphorical ballet shoes and start twirling. It's time to take control and show your finances who's boss. With these tips, you'll be doing the budgeting tightrope walk with ease. We've covered a lot today, but let's quickly summarize the key takeaways. First, understanding your income and expenses is essential. It's like knowing the ingredients before you baking. Second, tracking spending is your recipe. You can't whip up a financial feast without knowing where your money is going. Now the 50-30-20 rule, it's your oven timer, keeping your financial goals on track. 50% of your income goes to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. But remember these are just guidelines. Feel free to adjust based on your unique situation. Lastly, budgeting on a low income often feels like walking a tightrope. But with careful and some practical tips like reducing fixed costs and embracing frugal living, you can balance it out. Remember, budgeting is your tool to take control of your finances. So go ahead, give it a shot and see the difference it makes. And before we wrap up, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Your likes make a big difference and we truly appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and insights. Hit that button and join our community. Let's achieve financial freedom together.